These days we've virtually all got the facility to be able to shoot videos either on our digital SLRs, our digital compacts or even on our mobile phones of which the quality has become amazing. But the one thing we tend to do is we tend to shoot smaller clips. So what I thought we'd do is we'd take a look at uh, adding the clips together, I think the technical word is called splicing the clips together. We're then going to add some title sequence, we're going to add some music, we're going to add uh, some pictures in as well. Right, starting off, we are in Photoshop CS6, we're in Bridge. Now, we're in Bridge, these are some video sequences here. If I click on one, you'll notice the preview window, if you've got the play button there, so you can actually view the video from Bridge itself. One thing you need to make sure of is if you right click, open with, just make sure it's got Photoshop here because you've got other options as well. And what tends to happen with videos is that it tends, it tends to identify with other sort of video players, with other video bits and pieces. So just make sure you've got Photoshop CS6. If you need to change this, drop down to Reveal in Finder. This is going to be Reveal in Windows Explorer. If you click on that, it opens up your video folder, which is what we're looking at here. There's the track we're on. All you need to do then is if you right click, open with, I've got CS6 there, but you've got these others as well. So just go to Other. Now with this, steer to your program files, or if you're on a Mac, to your application folder, dropping down. There's, then if you go into your Adobe, if you go into Photoshop CS6 in Windows, just go into Photoshop here, CS6, click on this, always open with, click in the tick there, and when you click open, now <laughs> this is taking us straight into Photoshop CS6. How quick and easy was that? You can also click in Bridge, you can click open, and it'll do exactly the same thing the next time you use it. But you may have noticed something sort of happen as soon as it opened. It identified it was a video clip and it's opened this timeline down the bottom. Now this can also be found under Window. There it is there, Timeline. So as soon as it identified the video, it's opened this timeline. It's also done something else. It's put the video clip into a Video Group 1 folder. And it's quite a nice little folder as well. So that looks pretty good. Right, you will remember that I did say that we were going to sort of put in a couple of clips. This is a small clip, it's about 10 seconds in length I think in total, and I just thought when I shot this I actually thought it will be a good title sequence. In fact, if you press the space bar, there it is, it plays. Press the space bar again, it pauses. So you can play and you can pause and you can see it's only going to be I think it is about 10 seconds and I did shoot this with the thought of either putting pictures on top of it or putting titles. However, to add another video. Now, you've got a few different options. If you come to this here, you can go to Add Media. Now, this is going to add media into this video group, exactly the same as if you click on the little plus symbol here. And if you just navigate your way to wherever you're keeping your videos, I know mine's in a folder I put down here, and if I click on this one, what happens as soon as I click Open, it places it immediately behind it there it is there, which is not what I want. If I click down on the timeline at the top there, there's the player, and you can see it's going to go straight from this to that. That's not what I'm after. Don't forget, press that space bar. Through it comes, press the space bar again. You can see it's a, a wobbly start, all handheld. With, uh, I think this was the Panasonic G3 camera that was used with this, but uh, you know it gives you some idea, but that's not what I'm after. This layer this video track is highlighted. You can see it's highlighted with this white line around it. Press delete. That's got rid of it. Let's go back to the start. Let's click on this little clip here. What we're going to do next is we're going to add a new video group. Now to do that, simply come to the video icon here, clicking on this, go to new group. Clicking on new group has added a new group. Clicking on this icon again, this time add media. We're going to click on this one here and we're going to click open, through it comes, in it goes. Right, click on it and just simply drag it out like that. You can see the little sort of clenched fist there as we move it into position. And this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to place the one clip on top of the other clip so then when we click down it's going to fade through and that's the idea I had. Before we go into that section, let's do one more thing. We're going to add some music, we're going to add some audio. By the way, you'll also notice there it is there. We now got group two and we now got group one. To add the audio, 
Let's come to the audio track right down on the bottom. Click in on this, go to add audio and navigate to where you keep your music. And once you've navigated to where you keep, keep your music, click on the track that you want. This particular one is an MP3. And if I click on open, in it goes like this. Right, pressing that play button again. Through it comes, music in the background with, I thought, quite a nice Spanish feel, which is going to be the general theme of this particular video clips. So, what we're going to do in the next video, we're going to take a look at sort of fading this in, we're going to have a look at blending this together and adding the title sequence, and we're going to do that in the next video.